All right, I'm gonna start recording this because I'm I'm being silly and I feel like I feel like this is some YouTube type shit sometimes. Um, but anyways, let me get back into my fucking story. Um, so uh, let me let me just kind of recap a little bit for all y'all. So before I went to New York, I was trying to find me a little a little dip. And I ended up talking to this person who said I was enchanting and we started talking and they wanted to Skype, so we Skyped. And they was like, oh, they were like, you know, um, I was like, do you mind if I smoke while, I'm, while I talk to you? And they were like, smoke what? And I was like, weed, you know what I mean? Cause some people be thinking you about to say crack and like no shade to crack heads all around the motherfucking world. But it's like, girl, like who cares? Like. I'm asking you, like, as a for as a formality, you feel me? Like, not in some real shit. I'm only asking you if it's cool, really, to just, like, re just to tell you that I'm going to be doing it. Like, no shade. I don't know if that's rude. But I don't feel like it is. I feel like as long as I'm not cutting wood, eating a, a fucking pussy sandwich or something like that, I feel like as long as I'm not doing anything, that's really going to, like, you know, take you out the vibe of talking to me. You know what I mean? But whatever so homie was like oh that's cool so when we were talking i smoked maybe like twice in the uh in the skype and i thought that like the skype was kind of dry i can't lie to you girl we was talking on the skype and i was like girl I, I bet you better on phone you know what i mean i bet you better on phone or maybe you better in person because this skype i don't know because you laying back and shit and it's just boring to me and maybe it's because i'm high i want to be entertained but I'm just in the in the Skype with you, just not feeling it. And plus, like, this is my first time ever talking to you slash meeting you. It's, like, kind of, like, a lot if you think about it. Because when you're on an OK Cupid uh, situation, or rather when you're talking to someone on OK Cupid, I feel like going to the phone is cool because it still means you haven't seen them really. Like, a picture is a picture, and a phone call is a phone call. But Skype is kind of a new bird, you know what I mean? It's kind of a whole new, it's like an albatross, you know what I mean? And, I, and granted, albatrosses aren't new but i'm just saying like think of all the birds you fucking with ain't albatross a different kind of bird okay so you know we talking about the albatross here like we're talking about like we could get sight we could get body body okay we could get face we could get booty we could get titty we could get dick pussy whatever we could get all that via this like little window you know what i mean so then it's like well what if i don't like that shit then i ain't gotta meet you whereas a picture is kind of safe because it's like oh well you ain't moving around you it's a still photograph and you look nice or whatever but like once you get into skype that's when you're like oh shit like this person's gonna see me in like 3d like all the way and plus i'm smoking and i'm leaning back and i was looking cute as fuck bitch yes i had a little I, girl let me tell you about my outfit okay so i had on a motherfucking uh tangerine <laughs> i'm sorry i had on a motherfucking tangerine bralette okay titties just popping out my turtleneck okay the shit was just uh and then you know i have my hair down like this style with a braid bitch like avatar okay so i have my whole avatar alien pussy swag game everything um so you know um so anyways so i'm doing a damn thing and i'm smoking chill or whatever and as i said the conversation was dry turkey pussy so i was like i just would rather you know just dip so then homie was like oh, i gotta go anyway da, da, da. i'm like okay great and then when homie left i was like mm, like i could really just not talk to you in real life too because really like new york is tiresome like whenever i go to new york i be getting tired when i'm there because people just be running sweating yelling bugging it just be so much shit going on like that like i don't know like like new orleans is my shit because it's like you could go like live um in like where ain't really shit popping like where shit's like low-key popping or like shit's like popping big in new york it's like you really can't go nowhere it's like shit popping all the time things are happening all the time and then there's mad police around too so i'd be like Ooh you know what i mean like girl no you know what i mean like <laughs> tell me why <laughs> um oh what up yo what up wati tuya okay wati tuya what a tuya i don't know if i'm saying it right i hope so um Yes, Avatar Alien Pussy Swag Girl. Yes, swag, swag, weed, weed. <laughs> um, so anyways, so we're chilling, relaxing, and maxing all cool. 
Um, and, you know, or rather we're not. And so after we hang up, I'm just like, whatever, I'm, I don't even need to be around you and shit. So then they're going to hit me up, talk, like, all the time. Like, they started hitting me up, like, every day being like, hey. And I'd be like, hey. And then they wouldn't say nothing. And then they would be like, what up? And I'd be like, nothing. What you doing? They'd be like, nothing. Chilling. About to work. And I'm like, cool. No conversation skills. Because, like, bitch, like, I don't really got shit to say to you. Like, your conversation was dry. Now you need to be trying to show me that you know how to have a motherfucking conversation with a bitch. Because, really, what I'm getting is fucking realness. Okay? I was too through. And so he just kept on hitting me up with these, like, little bullshit-ass uh, pleasantries. These little basic-ass acquaintances. And I was just like, girl, I don't need this. Like, if you're not going to come harder, then I can't believe you. So, you know, I just, like, I just kind of dead at him in my mind. And then, girl, can I tell you what this motherfucking scarecrow tried to tell me? Bitch. Girl, let me take a bite of this turkey sandwich before I fucking tell you. Because I need to fucking get right with the fucking spirits. Because, girl, girl, let me tell you. Let me tell you. This nigga gonna tell me that it wasn't cool. That it wasn't cool when I asked to smoke during our Skype session. Okay. And that he's not cool with being around people that smoke weed and that drink. And that it seems like when I come to New York, I'm going to be smoking and drinking and having a good time. And he don't know if he want to be involved in that. And I'm sitting here like, bitch. But bitch, like, but bitch, like, th like these niggas out here be acting like they about to be your whole motherfucking world. It's like, first, I did some digging because I zoo watch catfish and I fucking, uh, you know, I found out that he's in an open relationship. So it's like, bitch, you didn't even tell me, like, you don't, you don't even tell me your whole motherfucking chat, girl. And you trying to come at me for some motherfucking odweeds. You trying to come at me, you trying to get... You trying to come at me for some motherfucking old dweeds? And then not only is this nigga trying to come at me, so, at me for his fucking old dweeds, he's trying to come at me for saying I'm trying to get wavy at motherfucking the Mickey uh, Blanco concert. I was like, no mas. No mas taco, bitch. No mas taco. Because I don't know how the fuck. I don't know how the fuck. You gonna tell me. That you don't want to fuck with me no more because I asked you, could I smoke a bowl in our motherfucking Skype session? Like, really, bitch? Really? I know, sweet P160. I was like, chow. Like, first, like, here's the thing. It's one thing to be like, oh, I don't smoke. So, like, if you was coming around me, I would prefer it if you didn't smoke. You know what I mean? He never asked me, like, oh, like, why do you smoke? What does smoking mean to you? Because it's like, listen, I know that some people would, like, listen, when one time I was chilling with this person and they was like, oh, I don't consider it selling drugs. I called them a drug dealer. And drug dealers, yo, you ever notice that? Drug dealers be getting mad if you call them drug dealers. It's like, but bitch, you a drug dealer. Like, nobody, nobody's mad. You know, but I think that they're trying to like uh, change the stigma and shit. Talk about some they oh, they a, a medicine a medicine person apothecary and shit. I was like, bitch, call yourself whatever you want to call yourself. No shade. Like, let me know if I'm making you mad. But homie, these hoes be bugging me because they be like, oh, like you know, I, I be giving out medicine. I ain't no drug dealer. I don't think weed is drugs. I was like, child, that's you. I'm not mad, homie. But they be getting mad. So um. Uh, so, but for me, like, I don't know, like, I, I'm not gonna say I don't consider, uh, weed a drug, um, because I know that we, I know they ain't just picking it out the damn ground, y'all. They putting some shit into it, okay? I'm not mad, <laughs> you feel me? Shit, let's go. But at the same time, you know, I want to be real, you know, I enjoy smoking weed, but I, like, at this point in my life, I realize that, like, when I smoke weed, it kind of, like, makes me, like, really, um, less anxious and more able to just go without having to deal with like all of the blocks i think that like sometimes i can have like very serious um cases of like i don't know like 
like an, an, an inability to focus and I feel like this allows me to focus more so than I can because like I'm really all over the place like I move a lot because I'm all over the place like I my mind gets fucked up like my situation gets fucked up I gotta go I gotta change it up I gotta yeah I gotta get out of here it's like I gotta just you know get on the road you know what I mean zoom me and that's just how I am but like with when I do smoke it makes me feel bomb like I can't lie like it makes me feel bomb so you know with that with that situation popping off you know I'm not going to uh I'm not going to entertain someone that's like that has a problem with someone smoking like not near them because he was trying to make it seem like I was like gonna be like just trying to like roll blunts and shit chill next to him when in reality that none of that shit even happened when I was in New York you know what I mean I feel like the only time it was like reckless was when we was at the at the festival and I feel like you know we got really lucky because there were lots of police and security people but niggas is watching you know what I mean I got shooters up top in the F1 you feel me so we made it work you know patty cake patty cake bakers man you know what I mean we rolled it up we Paula Deen that shit no racist we didn't actually Paula Deen anything um well that's cool for you I'm happy uh so but yeah, so he tried to like play himself because he was just really trying to be like, oh, like I don't really fuck with people that like smoke weed and that get drunk. Like that's really not my scene. And it's like, but bitch, you already said you're not going to the festival. So I'm not even going to see you when I'm getting fucked up. And like, if I'm high, bitch, I'm good, bitch. You feel me? Like I don't be getting uncomfortably high and then be going out and wilding. You know what I mean? It's not Wayne's world with me. You feel me? I'm like real chill. You know what I mean? I'm always chilling. Okay. So it just be killing me like how people assume shit about people who do drugs just because they don't fuck with drugs. It's like, bitch, you don't have to fuck with drugs. Nobody wants you to fuck with drugs. They're more for me. You feel me? Like, I wish more people didn't fuck with drugs when I was around. You feel me? Damn. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. I like to share, but the people that don't be smoking be the ones that be the most extra. Fuck. Or you always get them people, you know what? Let me tell you a funny story. I have met this person so many times. Tell me if you met this person before. Tell me if you met this person. S shout, girl. Shout if you met this person. On more than one occasion, in different cities across the world, like different, different places all over the U.S., I met this nigga. He is a white man who no longer can smoke because he has a government job, whatever the fuck that means, because I don't like to go into it. And they can no longer smoke because of random drug tests, but they love the smell of it. Tell me if you met this person. Because, child, I, met this, per I met this person recently in New York, and I was dying because I met this person in New Orleans as well. And I met this person in California as well. Okay, I met these people all over. I'm talking about, you know, can't do it, but I love the smell. <laughs> Want to stand next to you and shit. Uh, Sunset Girl 420, you're funny. You're comedy. Sweet P 160. Yeah, no, I knew that he wasn't gonna be it for me. Like, I was just, like, annoyed because, like, he was saying the right shit. Because it's rare, like, most dudes, will, if they send you a long-ass fucking message, it's usually some bullshit. Like, really. Like, my OkCupid okay experience has been just a mess. Like, girl, actually, you know what? Let's be, let's be messy real quick. Let me just, let's laugh real quick. Let's L-A-F-F, okay? Let's laugh. Let's laugh. There's this nigga named Greek Boy 55. And no shade, he's kind of cute. Like, no tea. Like, he's kind of cute. But, like, I don't fuck with 20-year-olds. Like, no shade. Like, bitch, if I, get, if I get caught out drinking with you, bitch, I'm not going to jail. And I like to drink. So, no. Then, oh, girl. Can I tell you, I have a stalker on this shit. Every time I delete, this nigga finds me. His name is Charlie D. 1984, girl. I'm telling you, this nigga stalks me hardcore. It's, like, really annoying. And he's really ugly. Like, he's a really ugly-ass white dude who, like, will not leave me alone. And I thought he was cute at first. But then I was like, uh, and dead ass, he got mad, like, dick pics and shit, and his dick just looked fucking burnt. Being real. Being real. Okay, don't be trying to send me pictures of your dick if you don't want a critique, girl. 
Um, ooh, girl, can I tell you? I thought that, okay, this nigga said that he's an L.A. actor shooting a movie in Boston, and he would like to get dinner and get drunk. I'm like, girl, how is that your first message? And then I go through his shit, right? And I know that I've seen him in a movie before. You know who he looked like to me? The nigga from Superbad that was like, fuck my life. Can I show y'all? Can I, like, pass his picture around? Can y'all tell me if this is the nigga? Can someone tell me? Okay, sweet pea, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead that you know him. Okay, so I posted the link. Mr. Harmony89, I agree. I agree. I totes agree. I totes agree. Okay, I'm going to pause this video and we're going to just go into some OkCupid okay bullshit. So feel free to watch with us.